Hello Aries, how are you today? I am here today with a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you lots. Let's get into it, Aries. So Aries, for this love reading, I'm going to see how this person views you, how this person feels about you, and the fourth movement for you and this individual. So let's see, Aries. Aries, when I was shuffling the cards, I was hearing so emotional. So this person could be hurting over you, Aries. I don't know. I thought that this person could miss you as well. So let's see. Let's see what the cards give, Aries. So, Aries. Um, <laughs> I feel like that someone out here smells like cinnamon. I know that's so strange and so awkward to say, Aries. But that's what they were saying. I kept hearing cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. So anyways, let's get into it. How does this individual view Aries, please? How does this individual view Aries, please, Spirit? Okay, we have the King of Wands coming out. The King of Wands has been popping out and everybody reading. We have the King of Wands coming out and we have the Seven of Wands coming out. Aries, that is you, the King of Wands. So, how this person could feel about you, Aries? They could feel like here that you are very, you are very defensive towards them or to them, as if you had to protect yourself from them, Aries. And you could possibly feel that way as well. Take the high resonates. This person could have have anxiety as well, Aries, with the Nine of Swords out here, the Knight of Swords coming out, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse coming out. Aries, yeah, Aries, this person could feel as if you let them go. This person has, has, has anxiety about you moving on, Aries, or you find it bigger and better elsewhere. Take this how it resonates. With the Knight of Swords coming out here, that's, that's my Triumph and Adversity card, Aries. That's like taking control of something, taking over something, you know, um, fighting for what you believe in, whatever the case could be, right, Aries? But it feels like you're with this Five of, five of Pentacles in reverse. This person feels like, um, Aries, they don't want to fight for nothing. And when I say for nothing, I feel like that this person feels like if they're gonna if they're going to fight for you, Aries, or if they're going to, you know come after you, whatever the case could be, Aries, that you you have to, you know, want them to. This person feels like here that you don't want them, Aries. This is how this person views you. This person also has has anxiety, nine of, nine of swords. I was hearing 99, so someone here could be born in 99. Take the hat, resonates. Or the number 99 could be significant for someone. Take the hat resonates. With this five of pentacles in reverse, Aries, it feels like that this person feels like that you already rejected them or already rejecting them. Take this hat resonates. Go on next to the five of swords in reverse for Aries, please. How this person views Aries, seven of pentacles. Aries, this person feels like you're that you, you're very, I'm hearing well made. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but it feels like you're, you're very abundant, Aries. You're eating the fruit off your tree. You're very well off is what I'm getting here. Wow, Aries. So yeah, this person, this person is emotional. They are. They feel like you're the Aries that you're better off without them. They also feel like here that you don't see rainy days because your days are like, you know, just so good, so fantastic. Take it how it resonates, Aries. I don't feel like here that that's the case at all. I feel like here that this person feels like, here, yeah, that you're better off. The star card. <coughs> Pull next to the star card. This is the cherry in reverse coming out. Yeah, Aries. How this person views you, Aries? The seven of pentacles with the star card coming out here. This person could view, view you as someone that they want to get with, get along with, is what I'm hearing out here. Even if it's just on a friendly friendly, friendly level, um, Aries, take the high resonates. This person also feels like Aries here that they have a lot to prove to you, but they don't know how. 
They don't know how to prove it to you when you're so well. Yeah, you're so well off. You're so off. You're so um better off without them is what I'm hearing. Or this is how this person feels with the star card. The cherry in reverse, that's making this person not come towards you. You could be you could be dealing with a Cancerian or an Aquarius. Yeah, I'm hearing the ship has stopped. Okay. Someone here could also feel like Aries that you're not putting in any more effort. The Five of Pentacles is usually like, you know, hustle card. And usually when you're hustle, you're trying to put in effort with something, trying to um, get something up off the ground, right? Um, Aries, someone here could feel like yeah, that you're not putting in. Well, yeah, you're not putting in no hustle into it. You're not trying to get it off the ground anymore. You're not trying. You're you're done. Yeah, the ship has stopped. You're done. Oh, Aries, this person feels horrible. With this star card, you look good, Aries. So I hear that you look good naked. That's random, but she is, you know, in that card she is. So, okay, Aries, let's move on. Ooh. I keep seeing the nine of, um, what's that, the nine of wands? I keep seeing that card. How does this individual feel about Aries, please? How does this individual feel about Aries? Okay, we have four coming out. The first card is the eight of cups in reverse coming out. The second card is the knight of cups in reverse coming out. The third card is the six of cups in reverse coming out. The fourth card is the tower card. How this person feels about you, Aries? How, well, they haven't walked away emotionally from you. They're still there emotionally. The Eight of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Still very... I'm hearing sincere about what they say. So whatever they they have told you recently or in the past, it was sincere. That's what I'm hearing here, Aries. Or someone's name could be sincere. Take the how it resonates. With the Six of Cups in reverse coming out with the tower here, usually for me as a reader, the Six of Cups in reverse usually represents, like, you know, memories that weren't so fond, right? With the tower card. I don't know why I keep hearing hustle. You and this person could have been through some hardships, Aries, or some hard times together. I'm hearing, but only one of you hustled your way out. Okay. Yeah, Aries, someone here feels like that this is a disaster. Like, they just can't. I'm, dare I say, Aries, someone out here feels like here that they can't live without you. Someone out here can have a past on lover. Be more proud this person feels about Aries, please. We have the strength card coming out. Who next to the strength card? We have the nine of cups in reverse coming out. How this person feels about you, Aries? They aren't happy. They aren't happy with the circumstance that you two could be going through. They're not happy that you two aren't together. They aren't happy that they that they see that you they feel like here that you elevated without them. They're not happy, or this is how you feel, Aries. Take it how it resonates. Um, someone out here is trying to be strong about the situation. I'm also hearing I'm also hearing trying to be kind about the situation with the nine of cups and the strength card coming out here. Mind you, the Nine of Cups is, is in reverse, and that's not having a wish fulfillment with the Four of Swords. It feels like it, that this person mentally is at, is at a standstill. They don't know what else to do, Aries. If you're happy without them, better off without them, not fighting over them anymore. If you're like, you know, um, yeah. It's, I'm also hearing, um, Aries, someone out here could be, someone else out here could be worshiping the ground that you walk on and this person isn't, isn't happy.
this is the page of wands instead of this person coming towards you aries the only thing they could do is look at you from a distance with the page of wands out here yeah the queen of swords yeah and be angry about it at them looking at you from a distance i don't know aries some of you could be in new relationships and this could just like totally be like an ex or something take this how it resonates um but that's what i'm getting out here somebody someone out here isn't happy with the with how your life is now basically so if this was someone from six months ago eight months ago a year ago two years ago 18 damn years ago aries right they're not happy with the way that your life is now because this person feels as if that they are I, i'm hearing that this person feels like that they are better with you they are better with you so you could be have moved on married children take a half resonates aries right it may not be the case but for some of you it could be you could be moved on, married, whatever the case could be, but this person still feels like here that they they are better off with you or better off for you. But if they look at you by your life, Aries, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like here that you're very stable in your life. You're very um, level-headed as well. Is what I'm getting here, Aries, and someone out here is heartbroken because of this, or they're emotional about this. This Nine of Wands is, <laughs> how can you hate outside of the club you can't even get in, Aries? There's someone out here, uh, some love interest that's hating outside the club. They can't even get in, Aries. They can, I, I know that they can't get in because with the Page of Wands is coming right after that with watching from a distance. And being angry about watching from a distance. That's how I know that they can't get in. So this person, Aries, I feel like they don't have access to you. Let's move on. Give me some forward movement for this individual in Aries, please. Give me some forward movement for Aries, please. We have the Page of Cups coming out. We have the Queen of Cups coming out. Okay, a lot of water, Aries. Could be the water sign. We have the Ace of Cups coming out, and we have the Fool card coming out. Okay, Aries. You got water in your chart, a lot of water in your chart. This could be a water sign that you could be de dealing with. Take this how it resonates. I see new fortune out here, Aries, with this Ace of Cups, this Fool card, new adventures. The Fool is taking a leap of faith. You know, take the how it resonates. Give me one with this Fool card. Yeah, look what's coming out, the Sun card. Aries, this feels like... You could have... I can't talk, sorry. You could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate, Aries, because this feels like this journey is a... This is, this is a, a queen's journey. This is you, Aries, right here. Queen of Wands. <laughs> this is a queen or a king's journey. I'm hearing a solo journey. So, yes, Aries, I feel like you're that either you or someone else has just moved on. And someone out here can accept the fact that someone has just moved on. That's why I'm getting here, Aries. Queen of Wands being the last card here. That's why I'm getting. Um, very emotional about this because we had the Page of Cups out here. We had the Queen of Cups out here. We had the Ace of Cups. For some reason, Aries, for me as a reader, this feels like self-love. She In all these cards, she's by herself. I don't see a companion with her. And even in the Fool card, he's by himself. In a Sun card, he's by himself. In his Eight of Wands card, he's by himself. So, yes, Aries, someone out here is looking at your life and they are viewing it how it was when you were with them. And now, and I feel like you're now you have a better upgrade, a, bit, a better mindset upgrade. Um, um, yeah, you're you're better. Um, you could be better off alone, Aries. Or like I said, you just moved on. You could be heading towards new love with the Ace of Cups. All right, Aries, so I'm going to end it there. Yeah, someone out here is very emotional about you, Aries. They're very um, in their feelings about you. 
So I'm going to end it there, Aries. For personal bookings, you can email me at westtsis222. I would love to get into your personal situations from there. I love you lots. Bye.